Hello customers and welcome to today's guided walkthrough of our 2015 Nissan Patrol. My name's Jesse, I'm a Perth marriage celebrant and spokesperson for CarPlace here on the corner of Leach Highway and North Lake Road. We hope you enjoy our tour, let's get stuck into it. We're going to start off with a front on view while I list off the car's key features. Packed inside we have none other than 10 airbags, power windows, GPS satellite navigation, a 13 speaker stereo sound system, Bluetooth connectivity, fingers crossed I'm going to be able to cover the remaining features on this vehicle in the short amount of time that we have. First up I'm going to touch on presentation and the detailing team do a wonderful job here at this yard. If you think the patrol looks good now just wait until you buy it, they're going to bring it up to what it will look to be a 2021 vehicle, it's going to be so perfect. Time now for us to jump into some features, okay? And the first point of uh, featurettes I want to point out here is the the top here, you see a camera, that's, man, you'd be surprised just how many features that one camera uh, comprises. And there's three main ones I want to talk about. The first is collision mitigation. That camera is forever looking forward at the chance you may collide with an obstacle. Um, when it does sense that, it will raise an alarm for you to be able to switch on and apply the brakes before any potential collision. Secondly, it comprises a feature called Lane Departure Assistant, where it's reading the white lines on the road that create the lane within which you drive. If you happen to veer towards outside that line, if you happen to not be paying attention, the technology will nudge you back to the centre of the lane. Lastly, it comprises a part of your cruise control settings called Adaptive Cruise Control. It reads the distance from the front of your car and the back of someone else's if they, and, and will maintain that distance. If they slow down, you're going to slow down. If they speed up, you'll speed up to the point in which you've set on your cruise control, 70 k's an hour. P pretty insane, right? Moving down now, rain sensing windscreen wipers are installed in the system. Continuing down, beautiful paint job as I mentioned earlier. Check out. The uh, debris shield, I like to call this a debris shield, anything flicking up from the road, this will just ping straight off and it's going to protect your paint job along your hood. Chrome finishes about the place, this is, may as well be your bathroom mirror, it's that big. Headlights, plenty of features here guys, click on lights and windows beneath this video, the drop down menu to see a full list, but we do have headlamp washers here, they do have an automatic feature and the globes are by, by Zenon globes, okay, by Zenon, it's a pretty, pretty fancy type of globe. Okay, front parking sensors as well. Just beneath your Nissan logo, we have a front, uh, front facing parking camera. Finance, we'll get to that a little bit later. But for the most part, the presentation really speaks for itself as a feature along the front. It's time for us now to head down the left hand side and check out these 18 inch alloy rims to begin. Alloy, much lighter in weight in comparison to steel and they hold up really well in wet weather. We've got a chrome finish here, a chrome, um, that's, act, that's an actual ventilation there for your hood here. So a lot of the cosmetic vents you see here are fake. That one's actually legit. Continuing down, your side mirror has a matching paint job with an indicator light and a camera here that comprises a part of your graphical parking assistant. And when you come and take this for a test drive and you, you um, press the buttons there to activate all your cameras, that's just going to blow you away. Now, electronically adjustable, heated, they're not going to fog up in cold, in a cold environment. Let's continue down. Chrome finishes along our door handles and a chrome perimeter along your windowsill. No tint along the front and much darker tint along the back here. Less sunlight's going to pierce the vehicle, less harmful UV rays and it's going to provide you with some security to any valuables you happen to have in the car. Side step up, help you get in the vehicle, it's a big one, you'll need that. Okay, back left hand tyre, let's suss it out. ABS brakes installed in the car my friends, your, uh, your wheels won't lock up and skid along the road if you're in an emergency scenario. Push open fuel cap, how fancy is that? Unleaded fuel. Let's now take us round to the back, our wraparound brake lights are helping us get here. And right, right, let's go from the top. Spoiler feature, water jet just below your brake light. It's going to partner up with your back windscreen wiper to clear, clear off any dust. Tint job, defog strips, chrome badges about the place, warranty we'll get to later. Reverse parking sensors about the place and your reverse parking camera right here. The ability to equip a tow ball should you so desire. Alrighty. Automatic boot door lift. Okay, here we go. Yes, my friends, this is a seven-seater vehicle. We're looking at the back of seats six and seven. Plenty of room here for your groceries, your luggage, whatever 
you happen to be carting around. If, of course, you do need more space, yes, seat six and seven do collapse forward at the pull of this uh, strap here. But we'll leave them up for now. Okay, if I lift up the floor, we've got a tow ball cover. You've got this, some sort of extension here. And then inside your bubble wrap is the actual tow ball itself, okay? And then beneath this flooring, you can lift it up using this strap. I don't want to do it because this is quite heavy. I don't want to damage that flooring for you. We do have the jack and the toolkit to be able to swap over the spare tire, okay? Lastly, passengers six and seven do have grab handles along the top corners. They do have their own air conditioning vents and they do have drink holders to the left and right hand side. We've got a 12 volt power supply to the left hand corner here. And lastly, some cargo tie down hooks. All right, get yourself a net or a hockey strap to be able to strap down any loose cargo, okay? All right, that'll do us. Let's press this button, automatically close this down and continue our tour along the right hand side. Our back right hand tire is up first. We got front and rear wheel suspension here, separate from, all individual from each other. Okay, a leather interior, a power windows, chrome finish, a wood grain finish along the corner here next to your speaker. Alrighty, inside, and there's a little bit to go through, my friends. First up, we've got a complete leather interior. Smells absolutely divine. We've got a armrest in the center with two drink holders. Um, air conditioning vents running along the top corner with grab handles as well. We've got some storage on the back of the passenger and driver's seats. We've got our own air conditioning unit here and oh okay i'll just do it we'll just jump into the big one <laughs> that opens the uh, cooler box in the center of the vehicle so yes it, it's storage as any car any other car has but this also is a doubles as a cooler box like a little esky keep your food keep your drinks cold okay what's next along the floor carpet floor mats and we've just rested these here. They are the headphones. And you're like, why, why do I need headphones for, Jesse? And I say, it's a good question. If you haven't noticed, we do have a DVD player uh, multimedia system in the back of the headrests ready to go, okay? So these are Bluetooth headphones. Turn them on, they sync up. And then if you're going for long trips down south, you, you know the deal. You don't need me to explain that to you. So I'll leave them there. And I think we're going to wrap up the, uh, the back part of the tour. Time now to jump through the front and go through just as many features. So wish me luck. Leather interior, all power windows, all automatic as well. You don't have to hold your finger down, you just press it once. Okay, side mirror adjustments and your car logs, chrome finish. Oh, and up here are your presets for your electronic seats. We'll get to that a little bit later. Jumping inside, we'll start on the right hand side here. We've got a button here to turn off your parking sensors if the beeping is driving you insane and a button here to open your boot. Moving up to your power steering, leather steering wheel. To your right hand side here are your cruise control settings. To the left hand side there are your uh, radio and volume control. And don't forget about the adaptive cruise control feature I spoke about at the beginning of the video. The steering wheel column is also adjustable. You can move that up, down, left to right, back and forward. Alrighty, man these seats are so comfy. Let's take you through your central features. From the very top, a leather dashboard with a sound system speaker, one, two, three, along the dashboard. This is a Bose system as well. Now, I used to work in the, the uh, sound industry, and I tell you, Bose is an absolutely fantastic brand. This comes standard with the car. Um, if you're a music fan, this is gonna get the job done. Okay, multimedia system. Hook your phone up into it and access all the compatible apps. It has its own map system as well, which is separate from connecting your phone. Destination and maps right here. Okay, continuing down, it's really all the uh, usual knickknacks we've come to know and love from a car multimedia system, CD player. Below is your air conditioning controls. The temperature can be different for driver and passenger, no arguing. Dropping down further, we have heated and cooled seats. So in combination with the air conditioning, your seat will heat you up or cool you down literally from your backside. And in the sensor here, we've got, uh, can I open this? Yep, a 12 volt power supply to equip any accessories. All right, press this. We've got two drink holders and another 12 volt power supply there. This one here, we got um, yeah, a USB input. That's just perfect for your phone to just slot in there. 
connect it via the USB. Leather gear stick, and here are all your four-wheel drive, different um, modes for your engine, plenty to go through here. Okay, and if you couldn't see already, allow me to point out this maple fretboard finish we have throughout the car. Okay, here's, let's take another closer look at your cooler box here. There it is, and there's the button to turn it on or for it to just be a, a normal center storage console. Let's close this off and continue our tour. We're gonna take you now to the glove box. Inside we have a remote, no doubt partners up with your DVD players in the back. An official Nissan wallet inside the service history and the owner's manual and a few other bits and pieces there as well. The owner's manual for your um, multimedia system too. Okay, now to give you some peace of mind that the car's been looked after, the service history is all there, my friends. We also go through a 100-point safety inspection checklist. This comprises just a part of that list, where um, 100 dot points are ticked off, and I made sure that the vehicle is up to a moral, safe, and legal standard before they come to the yard here for filming and um, you know put up online and stuff. So we hope that gives you some peace of mind. Let's continue our tour. We have grab handles to the left hand side of me, airbag up by my head, no doubt an airbag right in front of me as well. Sun visor with a mirror and a light, electric anti-glare rear view mirror, someone with bright headlights, that'll just lessen the, uh, the impact there. We got roof storage along here and um, light controls and the best thing to happen to cars since they put brakes on them, a sunroof. A sunroof, right? Just when you thought the car couldn't get any better, we tell you about the sunroof. Now, you know how sunroof works, guys. Press the controls in between your lights uh, to open that up and close that back down. You've also got a shade too. Okay, awesome. Well, we hope you found the interior tour informative. Don't forget about your heated seats, leather, along the floor carpet floor mats, and some door pockets to store a few things like a drink bottle. Okay, uh, Time now for us to uh, go ahead and pop your boot if I can find it. There we go. Always a little bit tricky to find, aren't they? Electronic seats, let's point this out too, as I alluded to earlier. No more handles and triggers along here, it's all electronic, okay? And we can use these presets here. If someone drives your car and changes the settings, you can just press number one if that's you. Your seat automatically goes back to your preferred setting. Okay, let's finish off the right-hand side of the tour. Do want to point out a little bit of imperfections, guys, just along the door here. Fingers crossed that comes out with a little bit of polish, but at the end of the day, you still need to be told anyway. Chrome finish, guys, suss out your last tire while I prepare your hood. And there's not, there's not too much I need to prepare, really. All I did was lift it up because these pistons on the left and right-hand side do the lifting and the holding of it for me. Soundproofing board along the top here. And like I said, man, props to the detailing team here. They even get under your hood and clear this off. This looks absolutely brilliant. There's not a speck of dust upon this whatsoever. V8 Nissan engine. Guys, what can I tell you? more. We've got 117,000 Ks on the clock. It does take unleaded fuel. Four-wheel drive, a 5.6 litre engine we're looking at here. 5.6 litres. Fantastic. Okay, time for us to close this down and finish off our tour. Thanks so much for watching, guys. We hope you enjoyed, but most importantly, we hope you found this informative and you got a great idea on what the patrol uh, holds, potentially holds for you. Three things to tell you as we wrap up. Number one, warranty is available on the cars. Get, get the warranty, guys, whenever and wherever you buy a car. Give yourself that peace of mind and spare yourself any potential headaches. Secondly, if you're thinking of financing the car, we offer same-day finance approval, which simply means our finance process is very uh, convenient and efficient. The guys will hook you up. Lastly, if you think the patrol might be for you, book in a test drive. Take it down Leach Highway and back, see how you feel afterwards. Thanks so much for watching my friends, have a wonderful day and we'll hear from you soon.